Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast for all you crew members out there. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast. Alrighty, now this one, guys, is the one that you want to go grab the popcorn for and find a comfy seat and get ready for an awesome unboxing for all you fast and furious fans out there so this is the new legacy series put out by jada these are all 130 second casting cars we have some new ones and we have some duplicate ones so we're gonna go ahead and go through all of these I do have some 124th scales I'm gonna bring out. Um, I have a whole bunch of cool stuff, comparisons, all that good stuff. So if you guys basically wanna keep up to date with the castings, these are the new ones and I will let you know what is going on. So like I said, this is basically the new Legacy series. They came out, I'm guessing you could consider it two waves. They were kind of released all together but you have this two pack and this two pack. So we got the 69 Camaro and the wide body and then the Wrangler and the RT. So basically here we go. All right, this one down here is a duplicate. Um, we have seen this casting before. They sell it in single. They sold it in a two pack. Um, this casting has been around a long time, but this one up here is new. To my understanding is I don't think they're going to sell these top ones individually like they used to. Um, I have one over here. We haven't done the unboxing on this one yet, but just so you guys can see, because this is, well, this isn't part of the newer one, but usually the 130 seconds come in a box like this that is single. We have not unboxed this one yet. That'll be in a future video, but they are also coming out with the, let me go ahead and grab. We will get to it, but basically these are the new boxes for this year, Fast X. And of course this one is the El Camino. We haven't unboxed yet, but you can see there's a new one. We did unbox that one. Here's a new one, here's a new one. Here's a new one, this one here. So this one here will come in both boxes. It'll be the older box and they are releasing it in the um, Fast X box. And then they're kind of re-releasing some of the older ones. I've seen the Supra, they have a black Supra. They're re-releasing the orange Supra. Um, they're even re-releasing the uh, GTR and all that stuff. But going back to this, the only way I know you can get this vehicle as of right now is buying this two pack. And then here's the other version. Like I said, we have seen that one before. They never sold this one in a single pack either. So technically you can say that this is a um, two pack exclusive, but they sold this one and I think this one as a two pack earlier in the year. And then they released it in this one here but this is a new one the 1969 uh, Chevy Camaro so I don't know if they're gonna release these in single packs it's just dual packs for right now and then here is the second series Porsche 911 McLaren Honda Civic and the Mazda so they have released the McLaren already in a single pack um, here is the brand new Porsche. We have done an unboxing of the 124th, and now we have it in the 132nd. But again, I think the only way you can get this is if you have buy this two pack. I have not seen it single yet. And then this one I think is the most popular one. Um, not because of that one, we have seen Hans GTR again in, or not GTR, um, RX-7. And this, a single, a two pack, this casting has been around for a while, but this one right here is what people are freaking out about. We have the heist 
Civic EJ1. And this is a brand new casting for Jada. They did never, they, they might have, no, not even back in the day. Those were made by like Ertl and stuff like that. So I think this is a very first casting for the Honda for Jada. So that is going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to take a quick pause. We're going to get all these unboxed. I'm going to bring some 124th scale cars up top here just so we can do some comparison. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and get these open for you guys. All righty, crew. And we are back. There they all are in the back. So it's pretty cool. This was part of the box. Um, there was a level there where the other car was sitting. So I basically just cut out the excess cardboard. Um, you could probably leave like the sides on if you really wanted to, but um, I basically cut this off, this off and the top off, and then cut off the shelf nicely. Um, that way it's kind of like a display. So that's pretty cool. So, all right, before we get started with this, I'm gonna go through my quick spiel. We'll get that out of the way. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of stuff here. So hopefully you guys are comfy and we'll go ahead and go through this. But if you guys haven't already, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew. Hit the bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we put up new videos. Give this video a thumbs up all that good stuff i appreciate all the crew members already out there we're almost to 5,000 crew members that's the next goal i want to hit so make sure you guys subscribe um share this channel with your friends family all that good stuff we do a bunch of unboxings here jada hot wheels matchbox all that good stuff so i got a lot of stuff for you guys this year more to come next year uh, we're talking about getting some merch for you guys and all that other stuff. So there it is. Um, now let's get started with this. So the cars back there are from the two packs. I did bring some other ones up here that we've already had, just so we can do a quick comparison on them. So for the McLaren, we have also opened it in the 124th scale. So definitely go back and look through the Fast and Furious playlist if you wanna see what this one looks like. And then we did have it as a single car. So I'm gonna put the single car off to the side, but we do have it in a 124th. So if you wanna see what that looks like, go check out that video. And then um, we also opened the RX-7 124th. And then we also did open it as a 132nd. I don't remember if it was the same video or if it was two different videos. So again, go to the Fast and Furious playlist and just search it up or just look through them and you'll be able to see that. So we do have it as a 124th scale as well. And then two other ones. Um, this one here is in a 124th scale. Um, we did not do the 132nd scale yet, um, just because this one came in a two pack just a little bit ago, and I don't think I ever did the two of them. So this is actually the first time seeing this one as a 132nd, but we have seen it as a 124th. So that is cool. And then the last one is of course the Porsche. So we just did this unboxing less than a month ago, I think. Um, they first released it as the 124th scale, which is an awesome casting. I love this one. I might even have some of these still for sale on our sales page, creamcitydiecast.com. Um, but now we get to see it as a 132nd. First time them releasing it as a 132nd, of course, is in this two pack. So there we go with that one. So now we can go ahead and take a look at these two packs. And like I said, I have comparisons. Um, I did not bring out the extra one of these. We just did an unboxing on it, if you wanna go check that out. But all the 130 seconds are the same. And there is a, I don't know, I won't call it rare, but there is a variation of this one where it has paint splatter on it to make it look like it's muddy or dirty. 
so that one is pretty cool so i'll keep the other ones off to the side and we'll go through this first all right i think this is how it went yep all right so this was the first two pack from the fast and furious legacy series put out by jada toys and of course these are all 130 second scales so here's the first one it is the um, Dodge Charger, they consider it the Dodge Charger wide body. I believe this was from F9. So go ahead and take a look at this. You got the um, plastic for the front grill, two different colors. Oh, no, it's the same. Just kind of gives off a shadow. Um, it is a nice matte black car. You have the um, gold wheels on it inside is just all plastic nothing special and there are the unpainted door jams again then you got this gold stripe in the back of course the motors a rear motor on this one of course with the 132nd you do not have opening um, hood or trunk or anything like that so here is the back it says jada toys f9 the fast saga and this rear bumper is a little bit loose see passenger side again opening door a little bit of paint for the fuel door but there it is and then like i said they did release this one in a two-pack and um basically it looks the same um it looks like they had to like re-glue these headlights or tail lights but other than that i think this is um basically the same casting like i said one of these was offered in the two pack which came with that one there and then they just re-released it as a um two pack for this one so if you want this one, they don't sell this one single is kind of what I'm getting at. In order to find this one, you need to buy one of the two packs. All right, and then this one is a brand new casting, has never seen it before. So this is a new model here for the Fast and the Furious. And here we go. Oh, if you guys want an item number, here's the item number on that one, 33450, I never said it. And yeah, so is the other one, 33450. All right, this one, 33, no, three, did I say 33? Three, three? Yeah, that's, this one's 34443, four, four, scale 132nd, 1969 Corvette Camaro, Corvette Chevrolet Camaro. Oh man, my words are not working today. We still got a long way to go. All right, so this is a brand new casting for us. Um, the whole grill up here is plastic. It does have a license plate, Jaded Toys, Too Fast, Too Furious. Do you remember this in the movies, guys? Do you remember when they raced and stole it from them? But there you go, chrome wheels, no side mirrors, nice blue with the white stripe. Again, door jams, not that painted on this one, just a plain black interior. And this this rear end kind of sits kind of sits up a little bit. You can see there's a pretty good gap it sits higher. All right, going to the back, plastic tail lights, plastic bumper. Again, there's your license plate. Too fast to furious. Does have seven four two seven on the back there. Not sure if we're supposed to have anything else. And this one is the. Are the do they consider this the Yanko? I'm surprised they didn't, um, here it says Camaro. I wonder if they don't have the Yanko licensing because I'm pretty sure in the movie this was a Yanko. And didn't it say something across the windshield year one or something like that? But here you go. If you guys are a collector, this one is brand new for Jada for the Fast and the Furious series. Not sure if they have it for like big time muscle or anything like that. So we'll go the opposite way once we look at them. All right, next up, this was the, actually, let's do this, because 
we're gonna move this one here, put this one here, put that one there. All right, the reason I'm doing that, guys, is because um, this was how the waves were. This was the first wave and that was the second wave. So again, you came with this one. I'm not gonna go over this one a lot just because I just did a video unboxing these. Um, but here you go with the um, four, nine, nine, seven, zero, four, zero, one thirty second, 1970 Dodge Charger. They also consider it the off-road. And of course with this one, nothing opens. It is just your casting here. So there we go. And then here is the new one, brand new casting. I know it might look kind of familiar, but it's not. Remember, we have seen the Jeep, um, what is this considered? Gladiator. They did release the Gladiator, which kind of looks like it. And the one that's the closest to it, which is an older one, they did the Fast Attack Buggy. And at first I thought that's what it was, but nope, that's completely different casting. So we do have videos on all these Fast and Furious. If you guys want to make sure you guys are up to your collection, I don't have all the videos done, but I do have a lot. So here we are, brand new casting for Fast and the Furious um, Jada. 344444, 132nd Jeep Wrangler. And unfortunately, I do not know who drives this. It was probably in that scene when they're in Rio. Is that what it is? When they're driving through the streets of Rio shooting at everybody? Because this kind of looks like an armored car. Either that or were these the Jeeps when they were chasing in Fast 9? Not sure. But all right, so this front piece here is all plastic, plastic grill. Um, it's a nice silver and black accent. Um, that is actually part of the hood that they paint black. You have these um, plastic fenders, which kind of look like the one on the, the other Jeep. This part up here is all plastic. The top is plastic. Um, you have side mirrors. There's no reflector on it. It's just all black. You can tell this is a like an armored car. And this door does open. Interior in there is just all black. Ooh, you do have some cup holders though. Put your iced coffee, your Red Bull, your Mountain Dew. You're set to go in the armored car with Tej. All right, the back. So the wheel, ooh, it's actually a, another wheel. Nice, I like when they do that. So it's actually a rubber wheel, just like the wheels here. Same type and everything. All plastic for this cage. Here's your passenger side. And there's the passenger side in there. I know this video is gonna be a little bit longer, guys, but there is a lot of cars to go through. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. All right, so now this is the um, second box. And I just wanted to check something here real quick. All right, all the box numbers are different. Um, unfortunately now, I don't remember which vehicles went to which box, but basically the box numbers are there. Three, four, it's two, five, two. It actually starts with 49. It's two, four, nine, two, fifty, two, fifty one, and two, fifty two are the box. Oh, it has the cars on there. So I'll be able to put that in the Facebook post. I'll put all the item numbers, box item numbers, all of that good stuff if you guys are ever interested. All right, so here is the Mazda that it came with. Like I said, this is a duplicate casting 30736. Um, we won't go over it that much just because I haven't boxed it before. I will say that that looks disgusting. The um, black doesn't even go to the lines oh that is bad i would be very upset if i didn't have another one and this is the one i got because if you look here that's the first one that i have that's the second one oh that is a horrible paint job 
horrible. So hopefully you guys had one before, because if you were expecting it out of this box, man, that paint is bad. Otherwise, the back is the same, Fast and the Furious. Um, the orange looks the same. Oh, see, this side's not that bad. It goes to the bottom. It doesn't go fully to the top. But, oh, they really they really did bad on the one side. Because you couldn't see that side. This is how it was in the box. And you can kind of see on the top there. See how much crisper the old ones were? Oh, but then as soon as you turn it around, you see that? Oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts, guys. But there's the Mazda. Like I said, if you want to see the full unboxing on this one in the 124th, definitely go check out the... Um, the uh playlist and it is the same item number all right so here we go this is the one i have been waiting for oh i am so excited to have this one i hope i can find another one i do have a little blemish on this one but for my understanding i think this is a brand new casting for them so item number 34417 scale 132 they're considering it a 1993 honda civic 93 yeah that could be because this generation is from 92 to 95 and i think it looks a little small honestly i think they could have done it a little bit wider maybe i don't know but awesome very cool i'm so happy about this one so the insert grill there is plastic does have the honda logo of course it is the gloss black this is what they drove with the green under lighting to steal the trucks Just a plain interior. Uh, I hope they release this in the JDM line, JDM tuners, in the and make it a 124th. Uh, like I said, okay, so there's the only blemish that mine has. This the spoiler is a little cracked. So I hope I can find another one of these. I actually had to buy, I found two of them myself at Walmart. Oh, speaking of that, I believe these are Walmart exclusives. Um, I did find these two at Walmart, and then these two I bought on a third party site. So hopefully I can get a hold of another Civic. But there you go, the Fast and the Furious, the original movie. Civic logo. Oh, very nice. Love this casting. Oh, that is a great um, addition to the Fast and the Furious collection. So it'll be cool if I could get three of them because that's kind of like the heist. All right, and then the last one up here we have now is the McLaren and the Porsche. Again, I won't spend too much time on this McLaren because we have seen it here in another unboxing. Um, let's see, same item numbers. Um, and this casting, again, looks to be identical. And I think they just re-released this one in a single pack as well. So there you go. There is the McLaren. The doors do open. The McLaren style. I'm always nervous about opening these after breaking that Doctor Strange door. But there you go. Come on. Oh no, come on. There we go. Oh, I do not like opening those doors at all. All right, but this is going to be the popular one again. Well, the Camaro might be too. But so now we are seeing this as a 132nd. We first got it as the 124th, and here we have it as the 132nd. And this nice baby blue, there's the Porsche logo, uh, chrome housing headlights. That is all part of the um, bumper. There's no plastic inserts, it's just painted. You got the awesome GT3 RS on the side. Mirrors on the door, no reflective though, just painted. Bucket seats. 
So the 124th did have a roll cage in it. The 132nd does not. GT3 on the back, Fast 5. I do have a little blemish right here in the paint. Not too bad. You got the big chrome exhaust. Plastic spoiler. So there we go. And this one. 34442 scale 132nd Porsche 911 GT3 RS in 132nd. All right, guys, this is probably going to be over a half an hour for a video, but there you go. There is the brand new Fast and Furious um, Legend. What is this? Legacy. Leg, leg, legacy fast and furious legacy series put out by jada toys they are all 132nd um these are the newest cars for fast and the furious um like i said i still have some for fast x to open the police car the camaro um i did see i think jada put up on their facebook or instagram or something that they're going to be releasing more cars coming up here shortly this month in like two weeks i don't know when this video is going to go up but we are in the month of may the new movie is coming out this month so this is awesome hopefully you guys enjoyed it i already did my spiel i won't do that again i will just say one more time if you're not a crew member please hit that subscribe button become a crew member join spend too much diecast we have a lot of fun here doing all different types of unboxings jada hot wheels matchbox um been opening up some uh, mic time micro some resin models all that good stuff full case unboxings so i appreciate all the crew members out there and hopefully we can have even more join the crew but thanks for watching this unboxing everybody have a great day and we'll see you on the next one bye